Hi everybody and um, welcome to my kitchen. Now I promised that I would post some recipe videos and so what I'm going to do for you, I thought no better time than the present, I've got to cook dinner tonight so why not make something that you guys can have over the weekend before you start your detox. So what I'm going to make for you are the gourmet chicken sausage rolls. So what we have is one breast which is about 350 grams of chicken breast which I've cut up. We've got three shallots. You can use um, gourmet shallots or you can just use an onion. It's entirely up to you. I use shallots because Matt can't digest onion very well. Now we also have about half a cup of home brand quick oats in the world's best mum cup, as you can see. We've got some roast chicken gravy to flavour things up a little bit. Now this is you can actually use cup of soup instead of this, so if you have a, a beef flavoured cup of soup or something like that that you prefer, as long as it's got low sodium and, um, and low kilojoules it's fine. This one's good, it's not the best, but it was what I had in the cupboard tonight. So there's 355 milligrams of sodium in there, which compared to something like even the reduced salt soy sauce, that's got about 3,500 per 100. So, um, so this is way, way better. We've got some Italian herbs, which always go really nicely with chicken. I've got 10 leaves of chopped mint, okay, which we're going to put together. We've got some salt. We've got the um, good old Pam's puff pastry. Now, notice this says reduced fat. So it is, and it's, it's nice. It's, it's not good for every day, but it's good as a weekend thing to have with the family. That you don't have to feel guilty for and we've got four eggs we might not use them all and we've also got three tablespoons of clean and sculpt that i've made which i will post the recipe for this is without cinnamon so there's variations of clean and sculpt which you know you can leave out the cinnamon you can add it later but that's three tablespoons and here is some homemade tomato relish tomato sauce it's pretty um the one that i make is pretty sweet but it's also got a bit of a chili tang after it so we're going to use a little bit of this as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to blend the chicken in my now i don't know the names for things a lot of the time i'm just in the kitchen creating so this is my whizzy okay so don't laugh at me for calling things things that they're not that's my wizzy, and that's what I'm going to do. It minces up chicken. It minces everything really, really well. So, this is where we're at. Shallots. I did wash my hands before this happened. So, just so that you all know. You didn't take off your jewellery. I'll take off my jewellery now. I wanted to show off my beautiful rings. Alright, so I don't know how this is going to go putting all of this chicken in here, but well, it's not called a whizzy for nothing. So here we go. Helps to turn things on at the wall. <laughs> I'm actually going to throw a little bit of, I'm going to throw all the mint in as well into here and just a, a little tiny bit of water, say maybe 10-15 mils of water into there just to liquefy things a little bit. Better move that chicken out of the way so it doesn't get stuck down there. Right, so far so good. <laughs> Alright, that should be really nice and blended now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken out, being really careful not to cut my fingers on that blade. And I'm going to put the chicken mince, and there's no big chunks in here at all, and it actually it smells beautiful already. It smells really nice. Now I hate having sticky hands, and dirty things on the bench. So what I'm going to do is wash my hands 
And you'll see me do this a lot because I wash my hands a lot while I'm cooking. So just get that out of the way. I'm going to take my rings off now. Thank you, Matt. I'll keep this out of the way as well. Alright, so now you're left with chicken mince. Okay, now what we're going to do with the chicken mince is we're going to flavour it up. So the first thing that goes in is your clean and sculpt. Okay. Now the clean and sculpt's full of brewer's yeast, flaxseed meal. It's got some almonds in it. Um, it's got a lot of really nice bits and pieces in it for fibre. And fibre is essential in your diet for helping you to transport sugar um, a little bit more slowly so you don't um, break your sugars down too fast because when you're breaking sugar down too fast in your body and it can't cope, it turns it to fat. Okay, and it helps keep things in your digestive system running along nice and smoothly as well. So, um, fibre, you need fibre. And, and look, I know everybody went on this juice bars and bought juices a while ago. Juices are fantastic, but what they do is they remove the fibre that you need to break down that sugar. So basically what you're doing is you're juicing up and getting rid of all the things that you need and you're ending up with a big sugary drink, which is what you don't want. I mean, the sh look, even I got a juicer, but then I realized what happens, the fiber's there. Your plum is packaged perfectly to be broken down in a way that you don't store fat from it. It breaks down beautifully with the fiber and everything that it's got in it. And in moderation, fruit is fantastic. But once you take that fiber away, it's sugar. It's just a big sugary drink. Right, that's enough from me. So that's your clean and sculpt, completely mixed in. Now, we've got your quick oats. Now quick oats are absolutely fantastic for bulking meals up. But also, you know, you don't want a whole big meaty meal. You need something that's going to help to um, keep your digestion going. Again, it's a little bit more fiber. So... I'm going to start by just putting in half of half a cup, so a quarter of a cup going in first, okay? World's best mum cup. And the kids bought me that, I didn't buy it for myself. So you notice that you can see that in the mixture, and what I'm going to do in a wee minute is I'm going to put some water in here as well to help absorb. Now, let's put some more herbs in. I wish you could smell this because it smells amazing. I'll take the lid off because I'm no good with shakers. So I'm putting in about two teaspoons of Italian herbs. A very rough two teaspoons, okay? And the smell now is just beautiful. This time I'm going to add 50 mils of water. So, so far we've added 70 mils of water. And we will write this recipe down and post it, but I just thought I'd get the video out of the way first, so that you can all see exactly what I'm doing. So you can see, now as the water starts to absorb into the clean and sculpt and um, the quick oats, this is going to get thick again. So I'm just going to keep, as we go along, I'm going to add some egg and bits and pieces as well. But as we go along, I'm just going to keep adding water. So the consistency that this is at right now is the perfect consistency because this is how we're going to spread this on the um, puff pastry sheets. But it won't stay this consistency because of the oats absorbing the water. Okay, so we want a little pinch of salt. Okay. There we go. So it's it's probably good to mention right now that this isn't an expensive recipe. You know, it really doesn't. The quick oats are two dollars, eighty nine cents. Herbs two dollars, and yet how many meals are you going to get out of that? Table salt dollar ninety nine. Pam's puff pastry four fifty nine. Shallots or onions, you know, you don't have to buy them. That pack was four dollars something, four eighty nine. But you don't have to buy them in a pack like that. All you need is brown onion, really. Then you've got um, your eggs, two ninety nine Farmer Brown eggs, and um, you've got the tomato sauce that I made, which tomatoes are two dollars a kilo at the moment. 
Capsicums are really cheap as well, so it's tomato, capsicum, and again, just herbs and spices. So, um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in a whole egg. Now this is a size 7. You can use a size 6. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to crack the egg in there. And what that's going to do is help bind all the ingredients together. So just because I've got these ingredients here, I'm just looking at the mixture and seeing what it looks like to see whether I need to use more. So I may not need to use it all. We're looking at making about a dozen of these. So, um, you know, two each for the kids, two for mum, dad's a bit bigger, maybe three or four for dad, depending on the size. We get about four to five to a sheet, and I use the pre-rolled sheets because they're just easy peasy. Okay, so here we go. So I'm using roast chicken gravy just to flavour this just a little bit more because there's nothing worse than having food that's got absolutely no flavour, right? So that's about a teaspoon and a half. Mixture's still looking quite good in terms of its um, texture. But it's starting to smell quite strong now that I've added the roast chicken gravy. So we're going to need to break that down a little bit. So I'm going to put in just a little bit more water. There's about another 30 mils in there. Looking a wee tiny touch runny now. But that's okay. Easy so far. So while this is absorbing some water, I'm going to show you a picture of what I look like. 13 years ago. I was pretty unhappy. Hopefully Matt can zoom in on this picture. I was pretty unhappy. It was before my final daughter was born and um, I was quite overweight and this picture just will show you guys how different I look now and it's um, quite significant to me because I've got a two litre of coke in my hand. That's me, 13 or 14 years ago. Pretty miserable. I don't normally share this kind of information with people, but I figure that, you know, this is about all of us. Look back at your pictures. You know, my kids brought that picture down to me the other night when I was feeling really bad, and they said, Mum, look how far you've come. You've come so far. Look at these pictures and how... I wasn't expecting them to say that, but that's what they did say. Actually, Nikita wrote me a note. Okay, so as you can see, the packet's open. I've made these before. So here we go. So now all we really need to do, I'm just going to get a fresh board out of the cupboard. So here we go. This is what happens next. Separate your sheet. Part of it. Look. You don't need to roll these out any more than what they're already rolled out. Okay? They don't need to be perfect. Open up your homemade relish or tomato sauce. For you guys for the weekend, just use um, Cerebus or, or something like that. Spoon. One spoonful in the center. Spread it. Now this just gives a really nice tang. My food's always full of flavor, but do you know there's no sugar in this at all? This has been sweetened with apples. So um, it's actually really, really healthy and I love it. I just, I love it because it's got tons of flavor and it's got absolutely not a scrap of sugar in it at all. So here's what happens now with this chicken mixture. You can see it's thickened up a little bit. Again, it smells absolutely amazing. Don't use the same spoon and dip it back in there. Close the lid on that. So that's one spoonful. Okay. Mine's pretty thin. So um, you could maybe try a tablespoon and a half. 
So two tablespoons in here so far and we're just spreading this out over here. I know you know you all know how to make sausage rolls and what they look like but remember these are gourmet sausage rolls. So and they are super super tasty these lasted about five minutes last Saturday night when I came up with the recipe. The kitchen really is my domain. I love being in the kitchen. Um, usually I'm in the kitchen with a glass of wine creating my recipes but I figured I'd better not have the glass of wine tonight just to show you ladies I'm committed to the detox. What I'm doing here is I'm just cracking an egg into here so that I can baste the top of the sausage roll. Put it in a remix for the pork. Very simple. Got some sesame seeds to pop on the top. All we're going to do now is roll this baby up. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm just going to pop a little bit of egg on the top edge here and the side edge here just to make sure that this baby doesn't burst open. Okay. Yum. Now flip it over. Not too much egg, but a little bit, you know. Look at that. And everything looks better with sesame seeds on top. Everything. So sprinkle a few. That didn't go so well for me, did it? Sprinkle a few sesame seeds on top. You don't want too many, but make it look nice. Once this um, cooks, a lot of that will come off anyway. Now, we want to cut this into probably four or five pieces. These are my fancy knives that I bought the other day. I just love them. Can you guys see? Oh, might be easy with this one. They've got a really cool design on them. Really, really, like, it's probably the flashiest thing I've got in my kitchen. Except for my husband. Okay. So, we've got four. This mixture is going to make probably another three pastry sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off for a minute now. And then I'm going to come back to you when these are fully cooked and ready to go. But remember, I will be posting the ingredients list and the recipe along with this video um, in the next day or so. Okay, so we're back and here's the finished product. Now there's a few things that I forgot to mention to you guys. My oven was on 210 on fan bake and these took approximately 15 to 17 minutes to, to bake. There's a nice salad. This is a meal that um, that I'd expect Matt to eat. I had some leftover ingredients um, because I only had two pastry sheets. So I made some little chicken meat muffins, which, you know, they're pretty handy. You can cut them up, pop them in a sandwich. You know, you can do lots of things with them or you can just eat them on their own with a little bit of sauce. So here we go, everybody. This is our first recipe video that we've done and I'm pretty happy with the results. The gourmet sausage rolls look amazing. Matt's super, super hungry. He's done so well not to eat everything. So I'm gonna sign off now and we'll post another video in a day or so. Good night, everyone.